This video is brought to you by Bayi. When publishing for Shueisha, the company behind Shonen Jump, Go Nagai was met with both success and controversy during his early years as a mangaka. But when he founded Dynamic Productions in 1970, Nagai would end up seeing greater fame, being responsible for numerous properties that I'm sure need no introduction. After growing up with Astro Boy, in Tetsujin 28 Go, Nagai wanted to make a robot of his own one that would catapult the concept of giant robots to new heights of popularity. And it all started with a traffic jam. One day, Nagai imagined what it must feel like to easily bypass such heavy traffic with none other than a towering titanic fortress of steel. Ready your photon beams, charge up your breast fires, and prepare your rocket punches, ladies and gentlemen, because this is a beginner's guide to Mazinger Z. But first, a word from our sponsor. Bayi is a service I've been using for the past year and I do not regret it one bit. Gone are the days of searching far and wide for Japanese collectibles in person or having to deal with overpriced items at a convention's dealer's room. With Bayi, you can purchase Japanese products straight from Japan. Just pick your store and search for your item in Japanese. No need to cover some rando's vacation expenses. All you're paying for is the item, a service fee, and shipping. Plus, you have access to an entire multitude of Japanese online stores like Rakuten, Zozo Town, the Evangelion store, and more. Thanks to Bayi, I've been able to save a surprising amount of money. When looking through Yahoo Auctions or Mercari, you can shop around for items that are way below their asking price compared to other online stores. As a fan of building model kits, I've always wanted a Master Grade Perfect Zeong, but I never wanted to pay this much for it. But lucky for me, I was able to get one from Bayi for a reasonable price. It's also a place where you can find some of the most unexpected and insanely rare gems anyone would give an arm and leg for. I was able to snag myself a copy of the official script of the live-action Attack on Titan films thanks to Bayi. But that's not all, Bayi is offering 2,000 yen coupons to every person who signs up by clicking the link in the description of this video. That's $20 worth of free spending money you're getting if you sign up today. Shopping for Japanese products has never been easier, so go shop at Bayi today by clicking the link in the description and let the world know about its wonders. Mazinger Z began life as Energer Z, a concept in which a motorcycle would combine with a giant robot. But due to the success of Kamen Rider, another motorcycle driving hero, the motorcycle was swapped with a hovercraft. Thus, Mazinger Z was released to the masses as a manga series that ran from October 1972 to September 1974. The story follows a young, hot-blooded teen named Koji Kabuto, who one day comes across a giant robot created by his grandfather to combat the evil forces of Dr. Hell. Koji would become the pilot of the awesome Mazinger Z and battle a series of giant mechanical monsters, or Kikaiju, led by Dr. Hell in its pursuit of world domination. Like many popular manga, Mazinger Z would receive an incredibly popular anime adaptation one that would lean heavily on the Monster of the Week formula, with subtle hints of a plot that developed over time. This anime would also receive an English dub named Transar Z that unfortunately only dubbed the first 65 episodes out of 92. Although there was a more faithful English dub from Hawaii, but it has been said that only around 30 episodes have aired. After Mazinger Z had its run in both manga and anime form came a sequel known as Great Mazinger, where we follow an orphan named Tetsuya Tsurugi, who was secretly raised by Koji's father, who was not only still alive but had created a more powerful successor to Mazinger Z to fight against a new threat known as Battle Beasts from the Mycenaean Empire led by the Great General of Darkness. 
Great Mazinger would even be one of the few super robots alongside Getter Robo G and others to be part of the Shogun Warriors toy line in the US under the name Great Mazinga. Although, as the television anthology series Force 5 was on its way, Great Mazinger unfortunately did not make the cut. Despite not being successful as its predecessor, Great Mazinger was still popular enough to run for more than a year. And then came UFO robot Grandizer the third and final entry of Gonagai's original Mazinger trilogy. The series follows an alien refugee prince named Duke Fleet who takes control of a giant superweapon that happens to be Grendizer, the Fleetian god of war. As the malevolent King Vega ravages planets for the resources to restore life to his home world, Duke would become one of Earth's guardians alongside Koji Kabuto. It's also worth noting that the concept of Grandizer came from another Gonagai property, the Great Battle of the Flying Saucers, also known as Getaiger, which follows a very similar premise. Even though Grandizer would be the richest in storytelling within this trilogy, it still was not as popular as Mazinger Z locally in Japan. However, it would have a much greater international presence in both Europe and the Middle East. And even though this is part of the original Mazinger trilogy, it is technically not canon to Z and Great due to disagreements with Toei and animator Shingo Araki. Despite this, Grandizer would appear in Shogun Warriors as Goldorak, its international name in certain countries. And unlike Great Mazinger, the character would appear in the Force 5 cartoon. To this day, Grandizer still has a massive underground following thanks to the aforementioned media. For the past several decades, the Mazinger Z franchise has spawned tons of media, including this neat little menu life commercial where the famous super robot lives a normal life as a hardworking citizen. Figured it was worth mentioning, cause my god it's beautiful. Among this original trilogy, only Mazinger Z and Great Mazinger have DVDs released from Discotech, with Great also receiving a Blu-ray release. Nothing for Grandizer unfortunately, so you may need to resort to not very legal means to watch that show. Plus, these three anime have their own respective short films, such as Mazinger Z vs. Devilman, Mazinger Z vs. The Great General of Darkness, Great Mazinger vs. Getter Robo, plus many more. And these will require some digging to find and watch, but that is rarely the case for these upcoming recommendations. Shin Mazinger Z, or Mazinger Edition Z The Impact, is a 2009 anime series that ran for 26 episodes, directed by the legendary Yasuhiro Imagawa. The story acts as a more updated retelling of the original Mazinger Z storyline, while also featuring characters from other Gonagai works. This anime is nearly the perfect modern super robot anime with outstanding animation, rocking opening themes, memorable characters, and sweet sweet mech designs by Tsuyoshi Nanaka that help update Mazinger Z for a new generation while retaining its classic 70s charm. Unfortunately, while the series was setting up a Shin Great Mazinger sequel, Shin Mazinger Z never received such a follow-up, as it would end on a painful cliffhanger. However, that hasn't stopped fans from calling it the go-to Mazinger Z anime, which you can't stream on Retro Crush. Up next on our recommendations is the 7-episode OVA Mazin Kaiser, released 8 years prior. This series features characters from both Mazinger Z and Great Mazinger, and is centered around a very powerful mech that was a secret project by Koji's grandfather after Z's completion. This of course would be the titular Mazin Kaiser. Beyond the new mech, the OVA is essentially another retelling of the original Mazinger Z manga, with certain episodes adapted from selected chapters, only this time Great and Kaiser are thrown into the mix. This OVA would spawn a follow-up in the form of Mazin Kaiser vs. The Great General of Darkness, based on one of the aforementioned Mazinger films, Mazinger Z vs. The Great General of Darkness, in which Koji and company fight the titular villain and the Mycenaean Empire. Unfortunately, you may have to do a little digging to watch these, as they are not available on any streaming services, and while there was a DVD release for Mazin Kaiser in the States, it's currently out of print. But if you want to see more Mazin Kaiser action, there is the three-episode OVA, Mazin Kaiser SKL, which is a much more over-the-top take on the mech. Imagine Fist of the North Star, Godzilla Final Wars, and Mazen Kaiser thrown in a blender with hints of Devilman and Violence Jack. Yeah, it's that crazy. The story is set in the future as it follows Ken Kaido and Ryo Magami of the Skull Force's Death Caprice Squad, who pilot Mazen Kaiser to battle opposing armies on Machine Island. What is its connection to the original Mazen Kaiser? Who the hell cares? It's all action all the time when SKL is involved. 
Aside from its insane action and nature, another thing SKL has going for it are the mech designs by Hiroshi Ogawa, Munetaka Abe, and Toshiyuki Hori. They all feel very unique and fit the heavy metal inspired tone and mood of the story incredibly well. While everyone may not enjoy this one as much as other entries in the Mazinger franchise, there's still something to get out of it. Plus, it has a home video release from Media Blasters. And finally, jumping forward to the modern day, we have the 2017 feature film, Mazinger Z Infinity, made to celebrate Gonagai's 50th anniversary as a creator, as well as the 45th anniversary of the Mazinger Z franchise as a whole. Set 10 years after the events of the original Great Mazinger story, ignoring Grendizer entirely, Koji discovers a life form named Lisa, and a giant machine named Infinity that dwarfs Mazinger Z and could potentially wield unlimited power. Dr. Hell and his cronies then make their grand reappearance as he plots to take Infinity for himself. With their old enemy on the loose, it is up to the likes of both Mazinger Z and Great Mazinger to take him down one last time. Mazinger Z Infinity makes for an absolutely fantastic conclusion to the original Mazinger Saga, especially as the film deals with themes relating to embracing the future and helping to create a brighter one for generations to come. It's a theme that fits right in line with the original intentions of the works that inspired Mazinger's creation in the first place, those being Astro Boy and Tetsujin 28, both of which portrayed technology as a tool that could be used to benefit humanity rather than destroy it. The film is nothing but a huge love letter to both the fans and the original Mazinger Saga as a whole, making it a wonderful experience. And thanks to Discotech, it's available on both DVD and Blu-ray. So that does it for essential anime entries, but for every installment, there is an entry in manga form. And when it comes to Mazinger, there are tons in fact. Mazinger Angels is a parody of Charlie's Angels by Akihiko Nina that is focused on the female characters of the franchise. It also has a follow-up named Mazinger Angel Z that is more based on Grendizer and the original Energer Z concept, while still maintaining the all-female take. Mazinger Atome is a story where Mazinger is, well, see for yourself. But let's go through some manga that are very popular amongst the Mazinger fanbase and seem to get the most discussion, or are considered the best of these manga spin-offs. Just note that not all of these have been officially translated. First up is God Mazinger. Originally a prototype to Great Mazinger, it was eventually restructured in the form of a manga where Mazinger is a living idol with a story that follows a tone similar to Violence Jack. So basically, Mazinger meets Daimajin. It also features the mythological Mu Empire, as well as the Dinosaur Empire from Getter Robo, not led by Emperor Gore, unfortunately. Plus, it has an anime adaptation that seems to be very obscure, though it contains numerous deviations from the source material, reworking the more mature and frightening nature of the manga in favor of a more kid-friendly fantasy setting. There is also Mazen Saga, an alternate retelling of the original storyline but amps up the violence and maturity as it takes cues from both Devilman and Violence Jack, as here, Mazinger is a suit of armor that gives Koji incredible power and can change in size. Unfortunately, Koji ends up destroying the Earth and must redeem himself in a dead and barren future by becoming its savior, facing against the might of God Kaiser Hell. The story features amazing concepts and phenomenal cover art by Noriyoshi Orai. Sadly, it was cancelled prematurely. And right before Mazen Saga was about to fight Devilman X, you're telling me we could have gotten an actual fight between Mazinger Z and Devilman, but Go Nagai decided to pull the plug on it? Ugh, <sighs> guess I'll just play Mazen Saga Mutant Fighter on Sega Genesis. Or watch Mazinger Z vs. Devilman. Then there's simply Mazinger, or better known as Mazinger USA, a one-shot created by Go Nagai to help give further exposure to the franchise overseas, and was inspired by Gulliver's Travels, as in the future, Koji and Mazinger would be transported to an alternate dimension during a great war. Also, this knight design for Mazinger is awesome, as it borrows elements from Mazin Saga, and bears a resemblance to Mazin Kaiser, which didn't come till later. Up next is Z Mazinger. Yes, that is in fact its name. It's yet another retelling of the original story, this time with elements from Greek mythology and how Mazinger was modeled after the Greek god Zeus, which was something that would later be seen in the Shin Mazinger Z anime. And here, Dr. Hell is the reincarnation of Hades, leading an army of key kaiju as you'd expect, so Koji and company rebuild the body of Zeus into a giant super robot. 
Finally, there's Yoshiaki Tabata and Yuki Yugo's Shin Mazinger Zero, which ran simultaneously as the Shin Mazinger Z anime, but the two aren't connected in any way. In a future where all of mankind but Koji is wiped out at the hands of Mazinger Z, who has at this point become strong enough to wipe out the entire universe, Minerva X, a female android created by Koji's grandfather alongside Mazinger Z, transports his soul to the past in an attempt to prevent such future events from happening. This manga would also mark the appearance of Mazinger Zero. You know Getter Emperor and Ideon, two mechs that contain enough power to make the likes of Galactus and Unicron piss their pants? Imagine that, but it's Mazinger. This manga also spawned the sequel series Shin Mazinger Zero vs. The Great General of Darkness, which, as you can guess, is also based on the 70s film, and features a new incarnation of Great Mazinger. Oof, that was a lot. Unfortunately, we couldn't cover every single Mazinger media, like all the other Toei Mazinger crossover films and manga, and other loosely related materials such as Psycho Armor Gavorian but we hope this video served as a nice little crash course on what the Mazinger Z franchise is all about, and motivated you just enough to check it out. Thanks for bringing me on board, Titan! If you folks are still interested in more giant robot action, you can check out my indie comic series Primal Warrior Draco Azul, a love letter to the golden age of super robots like Mazinger Z. The series is currently available on Amazon in both physical and digital formats. And if you want to see me talk about giant robots, monsters, and all other kinds of media, you can follow me on my YouTube channel, Kaiju Noir. Always happy to have you, Kaiju Noir! If you like what you see, then consider supporting me on Patreon where for a single dollar your name can appear at the end of every future upload. Other than that, you can also get early access to videos, exclusive content, commissioned video requests, and receive a t-shirt of your choice from my tea public, such as these designs based on Mazinger Z. Once I reach enough patrons, I'll make a video where I cover numerous cancelled Godzilla projects. So if that's something you like to see, then go support me on Patreon. Till next time, everybody! Majin! Go!